Hello, y'all. Welcome back. Today, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite organization items uh, for my closet and bedroom, kind of for the clothing and bedroom declutter that I just did. If you've been following along, I've been doing a decluttering series, a decluttering challenge, if you will. Uh, you can still join us. It's not too late. That information will be down below in the description box. It's totally free. The workbook is free and we're just kind of doing it together, but you can totally do it at your own pace as well. With that said, I wanted to kind of like after the fact, after I am done decluttering and organizing a room, go back through and show you guys some of the organization type items that I feel like are the most beneficial and helpful. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Everything will be linked for you down below in the description box. Let's go and I'll show you what's been really, really helpful and wonderful for me as far as organizing goes. Okay, so my closet is not perfectly organized. This is not like a Pinterest closet necessarily, but there's a few things that I have in here that I just feel like have helped to make the most of the space that I have. My jeans, I have these hangers that are from the container store. They are pants hangers. They're really nice because they are very thin and pants are already kind of thick, especially if you're gonna hang them up. And so I like that these hangers kind of, they don't take up more space than they need to, if that makes sense. So I was gonna show you guys a few like folding and hanging techniques should you uh, want to. I, you know, some people fold their jeans and put them on a shelf. Some people fold their jeans and put them in the drawer. But if you're gonna hang them, this is one of my favorite ways to do it because it still allows you to see what the jean is. You can kind of see the brand and if you need to, you can pull it open and see the tag there. I find that very helpful, especially cause I, I'm a jean girl. So I got a lot of jeans. The easier it is for me to see what I've got um, and what's, what's hanging there just makes it easier for me to find certain jeans. The other type of hanger that I have really loved, this one I believe is from Amazon. So this hangs multiple pairs of pants. And I really love this because right now I'm using it, I have three of them in here. One for my really, really extra wide leg jeans because they don't hang well in that other method. One for my like white, cream, light colored jeans and then one for my black ones. I know what they are. If I'm going for those jeans, I know which ones to pull off of here. And it helps to condense them down to one section, right? So they're not like taking up more space in my closet than I need to. So that's a big space saver for me is having these hangers that hang multiple pairs. This is another favorite of mine. This is the like pant skirt hanger. Um, it hangs four pairs and it's really, to me, it's best for light pants. So like dress pants or skirts. And I like that when you hang them like this, you can still kind of see everything and know what it is, but it is all hanging vertically together as to not take up any more space than necessary. So I've got two pairs of dress pants my and my like silk uh, pants right there. It's awesome. I also use this to hang my skirts. So again, same method for like my flowy maxi skirts. I can see them all on the hanger here. I can see all four of them, what they are, uh, but then they just take up so much less space. So I've got four skirts here. Instead of having four hangers across, I've got four skirts here, which is just, again, a huge space saver if either you have, maybe you have a lot of space, but you got a lot of stuff. Uh, or you have a little space and you just need to make the most of it. This is another little item that has been very helpful in my closet are these like S-shaped hooks. Uh, they're great for hanging purses on. I hang mine on my windowsill right here. So I've got a few purses that are just hanging right there. And it's really, uh, it's really fantastic to have these little S-hooks. The other thing that I will use these for from time to time, if you are a cowboy boot lover, these are really great for hanging your boots. I just hook them through the um the boot poles basically right there in the middle and then i can hang my boots up and i have again hung my boots up on the windowsill before just like that so i can kind of see my boots uh, if i want to hang them like that right now i've got shelf space to put them up on the shelf but that's a great way again to hang boots get them up off the ground 
um, and to keep them standing upright. You know what I mean? You don't want them to like crunch down. So keep them standing upright. I'm also a huge fan of the velvet flocked hangers. You can get huge packages of these in all kinds of colors on Amazon. I've also seen them from time to time for good prices in Sam's Club and Costco. I know Target sells some, but to me, I haven't found a better deal uh, than Amazon. And you can get different color uh, metal pieces. So if you want everything to be gold um, and then lots of different color options for the flocked velvet hangers, which is great if you want to like separate adult clothes from kid clothes and you want everybody to have different colored hangers. We have way too many, we have, we have way too many people. There's 10 people in this house. Nobody's getting their own color hanger. Now also I like that the velvet hangers kind of help to grip and hold things. And uh, my sweaters, for example, I was gonna show you guys as well, like how I fold my sweaters or how I hang my sweaters. They are technically folded on the hangers so that they don't get those shoulder puckers that drive me crazy when your hanger sticks out and it like puckers out the sweater. This is another favorite of mine. This is a very affordable bin from Walmart. It has like the little pull down side right here, which is fantastic. Uh, you can put all kinds of things in there that you wanna be able to access from these upper shelves. So I like to put my baseball caps like all in a row like that. And then you can just reach in and pull out. I mean, I kind of wear the same one. So if I need to get one back here, then I gotta take it down. But my most worn baseball cap just goes right in there. I do love these. They're very affordable. I wanna say they're like five or six bucks for these little bins. And obviously the lid comes off as well, but I like that it has access from this little like drop down side. It's great for shoes. There's lots of, I think that's what they're intended for is shoes, but you know, I don't ever like to use things how they're intended. I like to be weird about it. This is another clear container that I got from Walmart. This is, again, it's just a clear one. It's got this lid that kind of just sets on top of it. Like it stays on and it fits on the top, but it doesn't like snap or anything. It just kind of sets down on it. And this is great for putting purses in or really anything, but that's where I keep like some of my smaller handbags, my little crossbody ones, my dressier bags that I'm not going to reach for uh, on the regular. It's going to be like for a dinner out or something, whatever, that I just don't reach for it often. So it's okay for me to put it away a little bit. Here's another little handy uh, trick for you. These are from Amazon. They come in a huge, huge package. And these are great for if you have multiple of perhaps like the same style shirt. I tend to do that where if I find a particular like very basic style like t-shirt or something, I'll buy it in multiple colors. So this is a great way, again, space saving to hang those together. You know where they all are, they're together and they take up less space in your closet. So like I've got these two baby doll style tees um, from Old Navy, I think, and you just hang this on there and then you take your other shirt, I'm doing this kind of backwards so you can see, and hang it like that. And then they hang together again, saving you that space um, and very like easy to, to move around, shift, change, whatever you need to do. Uh, but it saves you some space and keeps like things together. And for what it's worth, obviously you could keep going. You could put another one of those on the purple one and put another color below it, below it, depending on you know the length of space you have in your closet there, you can kind of keep going. Um, but it's a great space saver, very easy. And like I said, very affordable considering it comes in this huge, huge package. The other thing I wanted to show you, uh, because honestly, this is one of my favorite additions to my closet is I purchased myself this little step stool. It's like a champagne gold color. It's a pretty little step stool. So it's not as tempting for my husband to come steal it for projects and it's fantastic because it's literally just pull it open and it allows me the ability to get to stuff in the top of my closet my purses etc that are up high i've got my little step stool right here to make that much easier and just pull it up fold it up and i slide it back here behind behind my pants over there it's really helpful i really like it i think they have a two-step and a three-step depending on how short you are or how high you need to go. As far as organization in my drawers goes, I have to tell you that these drawer dividers are probably one of my very favorite uh, purchases that I made when I redid my closet and did my declutter. They have been so helpful, so handy. I've already ordered more to use in the kids' rooms. They make it so nice. Hopefully you can see I've got three in here and because they are you know, completely customizable, 
Uh, you just pull up on that so you can make these as big or small as you need. And then you just close that back down to create the, the tension to hold it in place. I love that they're totally customizable to the drawer. This rubber grip works really well. So in this drawer, obviously I'm able to really sort things, be able to see everything before. I definitely could not. It was just kind of a jumbled mess in here. So these drawer separators are the best. I'll try to show you quickly my method for folding things like sweatpants that makes them fit in the drawer better. I'm a big fan of like comfortable wide leg pants. So I do have to kind of make them a little bit less wide that way. And I just bring up the feet, bring up the top, and then you just open it right here and tuck your pant legs into it. And then it is a much neater, tidier, fold to fit in your drawers and they kind of stay together better. So here we've got my sweatpants. Again, like I said, if you use those folding methods, it kind of just keeps everything together even when you don't have enough to fill up the space. I've got my drawer dividers in there and this is where I keep all of my like workout pants and sweatpants. I read somewhere recently and I don't know if it's true or not, but that if you are, if you have like ADD or ADHD, that having your clothes where like you can see them makes things much easier for you. And I can tell you for me, I have to be able to see what I have. I can't just store things away and remember that I have them. I'm kind of like a baby. You know how there's like an age where babies, if you go behind a wall, they think that you've just disappeared forever. That's why they get like so excited when you play peekaboo and they show back up because they don't have that object permanence. And I feel like with ADD or ADHD, I feel like I have a little bit of that like lack of object permanence. If I have put something away out of sight, out of mind, I will forget it exists unless I see a photo to remember that I have it or something. So for me, having my clothes organized in a way where I can see them lets me know what I have and what options I have. And that way, hopefully I don't end up purchasing things to fill a gap in my wardrobe that I don't actually have a gap in because I do have that thing. I just can't see it. That's a little bit of like maybe a tip if you feel like you're like that too. Try to organize your clothes so that you can see what you have. And again, for me, because I'm not a minimalist, so my decluttering is not meant to get me down to like virtually nothing. I really love good organization products, but they only work when you actually have a pared down amount of things. So for me, that's why these are so helpful and wonderful is because I'm you know, taking what is still a lot of items. Let's just be honest, it's still a lot of items. I won't use them, I won't wear them if I don't see them, if I don't know they're there. If the organization is poor, then it makes it really hard to actually utilize the items that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas for your own spaces. If you need them for closets and bedroom decluttering and organizing, I hope y'all got some good ideas from this video. But that's it for me today, you guys, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.